have to do a review of the org structure, number of areas where we've had to identify uh, reductions, and your role is one of them. Good morning, everyone. Not really a great morning. Um, I don't even know where to start. I'm ice rolling my face because I didn't sleep, and I will sleep because I'm pretty sure in an hour and a half, an hour and 38 minutes, I will be laid off. Um, I'll walk you through the thought process. Basically, there's a lot. A bunch of people got emails last night from a VP putting a 15 minute calendar in, or invite in their calendars, basically saying like, don't come into the office, take this meeting virtually. Um, then we started looking at other people's calendars to see like who else was included on the meetings because the guest list was hidden. And there's HR people, there's at least like 20 people, probably closer to 25 across the company um, that we have found with these meetings. So that's great. Um, like managers, my manager, obviously myself, a few of my teammates, and just like a bunch of people across the org. So it's a little disheartening. Um, but I will bring you along the process, and if that is really what's going on, I will obviously take you along the whole unemployment journey. I'm hoping for like a decent severance. I don't think it'll be great, but yeah, um, we'll figure it out. <sighs> okay, I have two minutes. I pulled myself together a little bit. Um, I'm gonna turn on this other light. I don't know why I give a fuck when they're literally about to tell me I'm not employed anymore. <sighs> I have two minutes. Now a minute and a half. It's just weird. <sighs> this is my last moment employed. Hey Tessa. Hello. Hey Tessa. Um, thanks for joining. Thanks Tessa, we appreciate you. Thank you. Take care. Bye. <laughs> I'm still like kind of in shock. Um, they were very nice about it. I was trying to be very respectful and professional, just you know, like for the vibes, don't want to go out on a bad note. I have been a little bit disconnected from my job recently just because I couldn't figure out if it was what I wanted to do. Um, so I am seeing this in like a positive light in that now I don't have to quit. Not that I was ready to quit, but now I don't have to quit and I'm getting paid a little bit would I like to be in control of the timeline? Of course. I don't know, I think it's just kind of like shock. Even though I had all of last night to prepare for this because the emails came through at like 8.30 p.m. Now it's real and I'm unemployed. And what do I do with myself? Hi, I'm Tessa. And if you don't know me, now you do. So let's debrief on how I've been feeling since the day I cried on Zoom to my VP of sales. A lot of time has passed since that day and I've picked up the camera so many times to vlog the experience, my emotions, but I could never find the right words I wanted to say. I could never find how I wanted to say them. Um, but I think I've gotten there. Today actually marks six weeks and one day since I was laid off from my tech sales job. And there are so, so many emotions that come with that. There's fear, there's excitement, there's embarrassment, there's confusion, and there's guilt, just to name a few. There's so many more beyond that, but that is kind of what's really link. Those are the main ones that are really lingering with me right now. I don't have much clarity on what I want my next steps to be. I don't know what I want my future to look like. I don't know how I want to spend my time. And I don't know what my routine should look like. I don't know how I should be spending my time with people. It's all just really weird and really confusing and just don't really know how to navigate it. But honestly, this whole experience of being laid off has been such a break for me. I've been in school or worked since I was allowed to legally. 
um, sometimes with two jobs. And I know for a lot of people, that's nothing groundbreaking. Um, but for me, that's eight or nine years where the only breaks I got really, my only time off was at Christmas when I finish exams until the new year. Other than that, I was just kind of grinding. Um, my last four years have been so all over the place. I graduated university during a pandemic and started a full-time corporate job, I think like four days later. There's some videos from that time if you're interested in going back. Um, a few months after that, went through a breakup. And then I moved to Toronto, where I am now. And then I found Tommy. He became the best partner I could ask for. And I'm so, so lucky to have him. Um, he knows that. And he's also watching this. Love ya. Um, eventually, COVID started to lighten up and we all got back to our normal lives but for someone who had lived in four cities and six homes basically over about a one year period i didn't know what my normal life looked like i didn't know what any of my life should or could or would look like so i quit my job that i had gotten right out of school and moved into the world of tech sales where i inevitably a year and a half later got laid off that job made me some really good friends but also taught me the hard realities and the hard truths and the dark side of working with people that are all within like one to two years of your age. My entire team was a 2000 to a 99 baby, or 2000 to 98. I am a 99. My director was less than 30 years old for the entire time that I worked there. And that's just, it's a different dynamic than I was used to because my last company prior to that, the average age on my team was probably like 45, borderline 50. Um, yeah, anyways, that also taught me a lot of skills, helped me realize that I don't really think I can work in a job that I'm not passionate about. I don't care for a bottom line that isn't helping people or impacting people. Um, that's a big realization that I had. It also let me travel for work the, for the first time ever. I went to two trade shows, I went to Philly and I went to Vegas. Really cool experiences, taught me a lot about, again, more work that I'm interested in, more work that I'm not interested in. Um, and at the end of the day, it showed me the ups and downs of a mid-sized startup and all of the emotions that come with it. My year and a half at that company was a complete roller coaster in the best and worst ways. Um, all that to say, I'm honestly really happy to have gotten my break. My last few months at the job were definitely not my happiest ones. And even though it was like three or four steps to get from my bed to my desk, it was a challenging commute every morning because I just lost so much motivation for it. Um, I know what I need to do. I just don't have the courage to do it. And I don't know how to explain how miserable I am because it just, it feels like it doesn't make sense. It feels like it's not valid. It feels like I'm too young to be able to have an opinion like this it feels like i haven't paid my dues yet so why do i feel entitled to be able to pull back why do i feel like i'm able to try something that i love and find something that i love and go back to school <sighs> the past six weeks have let me have time to reflect process everything that's happened well everything. I mean, I don't think I'll ever fully process COVID and everything that brought with me, brought with it. Um, it also gave me time to rest. I'm super lucky Tommy actually got a new job, so we're both off for two weeks. He took two weeks in between his jobs, and that was so nice to just be able to spend quality time with him before he embarks on this journey, and I just continue down whatever path I'm going down. Um, it's been, been really nice. Um, it's also just given me time to think about what I'm looking for in the future. And no, I don't have the answers at all and I don't think I'll ever be fully rested. Um, but for now, I'm okay with that. I know this journey will be confusing and a lot of tears will be shed. And that's my reality right now, but I just keep reminding myself this is leading me to a better place. Hopefully a place where I'm excited to open my laptop every day. A place where I can have great relationships with my coworkers, great relationships with my partner, great relationship with my family and my friends. Um, and I honestly just want to find balance. I want to figure out my routines. I want to figure out what actually makes me tick 
in this life, what keeps me going and just kind of hone in on that. I know that's a lot to ask as a 23 year old, I turn 24 next week, um, but that's what I'm working towards. That's about all the clarity I have right now. There's a few things in the works, really nothing serious, just more so a few thoughts. Um, but I hope you come along on this journey with me. I know I haven't always been the best at documenting it, but you can see over the past probably about two, two and a half years, I've picked up the camera a little bit more frequently. Um, I've been on, I've been off. You can kind of see my life unfold and that's the beauty of this, of YouTube, of this channel um, and of documenting your life. So <sighs> that's all I have to say right now. There will be lots of videos to come, probably lots more on this topic. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Subscribe. Give us a like, let me know down below if you've gone through anything like this before, how you got through it, if you have any tips for me um, and my co-workers that I can pass along. But for now, bye, and I'll see you next time.